I'm so excited to be here. Today is just, you know, you gotta wake, you wake up and you just go, it's gonna be a great day. Or at least the way I react to the day. And today, when I tell you, it's just been so much stuff going on today. And um, I, we just have such a great show. We have a great show for you today. <laughs> John, I got, a, I got a whole bunch of jumble of thoughts going through my head. I feel like my ADD is kicking in. Um, in you borrowed it from Kim Whitley? Yes, me and Kim Whitley, we okay. got the same, like, oh my goodness. Uh, Robin Roberts hey. is here. so much. Like, she literally is, is I, when I'm going through something, I'll be like, Robin, can I just talk to you for a minute? And she's, no matter if she's in the Swiss Alps, she's like, what's up? I'm here. <laughs> and I just appreciate that Robin is just, I'm, I'm, and she's coming back for a second time. So I'm so... The thing I like about Robin is when she was here the first time, she was like, hey, if anybody ever cancels on y'all, I'm right up the block. John, call me. I know. And nobody canceled today. She's here to promote something. And I'm just as excited to see her I as you know, are. I know. That's yeah. Robin. <laughs> and she's so much fun. So when you're nervous, like, she's so much fun, you're not nervous anymore. So, and, and, th and this girl right here, from Lopez versus Lopez actress, Mayan Lopez is here. <laughs> Y'all don't know, I've known this girl since she was a baby. Like, since she was a baby in the comedy clubs with her daddy, George Lopez. So to see her right here, I'm auntie. To see her now doing what she loves, and I knew she could make people laugh. So I'm excited that Maya Lopez is here, and I get to talk to my baby. John, good morning. Good morning, and happy first day of spring to you, Sherry. I know, it is spring today. Yeah. And I got, you know, all of these things are jumping in my head because I came out uh, before the show started to say hi to the audience. And I was telling y'all that I hadn't, you know, they had to glue down my baby hair and get <laughs> the ponytail together and we were running late. And so I, I had been up all week and my feet are killing me. They put me in these little bitty heels, but I've been up all weekend on heels. And so it was hard today to make that walk, John, uh, in the heels because we have been partying all weekend. So, um... <laughs> But I made it, so that's why I didn't get to hit everybody. I was like, let me just stay in these shoes. I'm gonna slide. <laughs> but I made it, but I wanted to give a shout out to some folks that are really special to me. My cousins from um, Houston, Texas are here today visiting me. <laughs> Two of my cousins. Now, I guess I am so proud of my family. Now, my cousin Lachey, she just turned 21. Uh, so wave Lachey, she just turned 21. But, and, and my, but my cousin, she's so smart. She's in the Air Force. She's an E2 in the Air Force. And uh, I'm so excited that she's here. And then her mother, my cousin Sharita, who is an Air Force veteran, is here. And I'm ready. And so my cousin, she's working on her PhD in strategic leadership. I'm excited. So y'all. Because I'll always be talking about my cousins, like, and, and me, who, you know, we went to jail and all of this other stuff. <laughs> this is the smart part of my family. These are the smart. <laughs> These are the bougie part of my, the shepherd. So I'm really excited. So could you give them a hand? They have served, and they are serving <laughs> in the military. I'm not gonna make you talk. I just wanted to shout that out. And uh, last week, you guys, D-Nice was here to talk about his career explosion. Yeah and his uh, big club quarantine concert that was at the Apollo this past weekend. So Saturday, John and I, we went to his sold out show at the legendary Apollo Theater in Harlem. And when I tell you the energy in the Apollo Theater was electric from the moment you walked in. Folks were dressed up because they came to party. And I, I, it was, I was so excited. I'm sitting down in my seat and I'm hearing a man, like he's kind of warming up the crowd and he's chatting with the crowd and he's telling stories to the people and, and people are laughing. And I, I didn't, couldn't see who it was because y'all know I can't see nothing without my reading glasses. <laughs> So, and I refuse to wear my reading glasses to quarantine, club quarantine. I'm not doing, you know how many single men are in club quarantine? No, sir. 
<laughs> it ain't nothing sexy about you, you jamming, twerking, and your reading glasses fall out your shirt. No sir. So without my glasses, I, everybody, and then I, I got this facial blindness. I couldn't recognize anybody. So I'm looking, this man is making people laugh. And then he says something, he's on the stage, and he says something about new kids on the block. And then it hit me, and I screamed, that's Donnie Wahlberg! <laughs> And I, and, and, and I didn't realize how excited I was because the crowd got quiet. And I said, that's Donnie Wahlberg. And he said, who is that? And I go, it's me, Sherry Shepard. I love you, Donnie. And so Donnie jumps off the stage and he says, Sherry Shepard. And he went, come here. And he jumps off this big old stage and he came to me and we had our own little moment. Um, take a look. I love you. Sherry actually came to me and my wife, Jenny's wedding. She's... I came to your wedding, and you and you and Jenny y'all had sex in the like reception. You still married? That's what's wrong. Right. I'm not married. We go to other people's weddings now just to have sex. <laughs> nervous, I start blurting things, and I don't, I didn't mean to say that, but I was not lying, because John and I were, we went to Donnie and Jenny McCarthy's wedding, and those two, they are so in love, they so hot for one another, that we were waiting at the, the cocktail reception, you know, before the reception actually starts, and we're waiting, and Jenny and Donnie snuck off to have sex before the... <laughs> before the reception. Like two high school teenagers. They were so, and they still do that. And so I blurted it out. I didn't, but that's, you know. <laughs> but I love that, because I don't know how long, they still married, so that having sex in random places does it. But back to the concert. So I love you, Donnie. Um, D Nice hits the stage, and both Donnie and Kenny Burns were helping him host. So in the crowd, I saw the lusciousness of Bevy Smith. She was there. And then comedian Royale Watkins and Chef Melba Wilson and rapper Eric B was there in the audience. And, and this is the thing, like, Club quarantine, you gotta go. D Nice creates a party. You're right in your seats. And you're all grown people dancing and the sexy music is going. And he's spinning throughout the shows. And he had different uh, various recording um, artists come in that had roots in New York. And they joined him on stage. When I tell you the people who had roots in New York, when I say Big Daddy Kane came out on stage, Melissa Morgan, do you see? I can't say the song. She came out. Buster Rhymes was there. He was on there. Vinny, I'm standing right next to Vinny from Naughty by Nature. He was there. Special Ed came out and he was rapping. Christopher Wynn, do you know? Oh, don't waste me. Oh, okay, I can't finish the song. Oh my God, the legend, Supercat was there doing reggae. Oh my God, I didn't even know what Supercat was saying. He kept going, dully, 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 dully. What? The patois was coming out. I don't know. Dead zone, dead zone. What is he saying? <laughs> and then DJ Clark Kent came out and everybody was screaming. And then all of a sudden they started doing lean back. Lean back, Joe! Watch out. Oh my goodness. And so it was, and that's how much I was hyperventilating in club quarantine. <laughs> And so I danced so hard on Saturday. I stayed up for the entire in six inch stiletto heels. I never sat down. My feet were killing me. And then, but you can't, when you go to club quarantine, you can't sit down. That is how amazing D Nice uh, is. And then uh, I, we had to look for a car service afterwards. So we were trying to sneak out before the last song. Cause I remember there was a lady behind me and she kept going, I, me and my mama, we love you. Show. Here, my mom's texting me. And I, I'm trying to dance. I'm trying, I'm, you know, I'm dumb. And I, and I kept telling them, I don't have my reading glasses on. I can't, I don't know what your mama's saying. But we got out, John and I got out, and, and, I, and I have to say the love from uh, everybody, I wanna say those people who came up to us at the Apollo, the love was so strong. Um, and we walked out, and so I wanna say thank you, because people kept running up to me, and I, people don't say to me, Sherry, hey, they go, Sherry! <laughs>
<laughs> and like, and, and so, it's the, it's the, and I love it, it's the enthusiasm. It's the Sherry, girl. My girlfriend Earlene said, did that look like you? And I wasn't sure if that was you. I just wanted to. <laughs> so, so thank you for that. But we, we couldn't find, and see, John is a man, so he doesn't understand about the heels, and he was, and so he ordered the, the uh, Uber, and we went the wrong way. He thought, and then, so he turns around, he goes, oh, I'm sorry, we gotta go all the way over here. And I'm like, do you understand? I'm a six inch here. And you know when your feet hurt, and if nobody's around, you're like kind of walking like this. <laughs> but when people recognize me, I went, hey. <laughs> I took the picture because I kept trying to straighten up. I took the picture. As soon as they left, I went right back to D. <laughs> but D Nice, I just want to tell you, you put on the most wonderful show. You gave people hope and joy. And it was so interesting. I was reading an article where D Nice said that he was scared, he was scared that people would forget him once the quarantine was over. And he would look through his comments on social media, and it was so many hundreds, thousands of comments that were praising him and what he did. But he remembered, one, but let me tell y'all, one person wrote, uh, you think you're hot now, but people are not gonna care about you when the quarantine is over. And do you know he said that it was that one comment that affected him that stayed in his brain? Because, you know, it's so funny, you can have so many people praising you, and then you hear that one voice that says, who do you think you are? You're not worth it. And that voice hits you because it aligns with that other voice that you've been trying to silence. Yeah. And he said it wasn't until he sold out at the Hollywood Bowl that he knew that people actually cared. So, um, I... And that's a voice that I think that we all battle. I battle that voice. One person can say on social media, you're not all that, you're not funny, and that'll, that'll bother me all day. And I, but I have to remember, we have to remember that the, everybody doesn't want to see you do well. Everybody, you know, as much as we want to get spread joy, people sometimes don't, that they don't want to see you do well. And you have to know that that will happen. As you're trying to go to another level, as you're trying to step out on faith, you will get the hater. It happens to everybody. But the thing that we got to remember is that it's going to come, and when it does, you can look at that and you can go, oh, I see you for what you are. I see you. And then you can say, I'm prepared for this, and you can slam that door and really focus in on that voice that's saying you are worthy. You can do it. So, all I can tell you is if you hear of D-Nice's Club Quarantine coming to a city near you, buy your ticket and wear those flats, boy. <laughs>